Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the dumpster fire that is CNN. Mm -hmm. uh, very interesting development. They they hired a new boss, and the new boss seems like he's not a fan of opinions. He wants hard news. Yeah, you know, like news used to be. Like news used to be. So we're going to talk about this because there's been a lot of discussion about CNN and what's going to happen to it. Uh, because of the Warner Discovery merger, and it does seem like they're going to pivot their content to actual news. Imagine that. Uh, now, we don't usually talk a lot about politics or hard news on the channel, but this is interesting because it's part of that Warner Discovery uh, merger that's going on that is going to have a massive ripple effect across all of television, all of movies. Um, did a video earlier on DC Comics and mm -hmm. they're downsizing and it seems like CNN might get the same kind of a treatment, uh, just that it's going to have to stick to sports. Well, basically. didn't the building already get burned down or vandalized a couple years ago? It was vandalized during the protests, the peaceful yeah, the protests. Protest. The peaceful protests. Yeah, and then they put it up for sale, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think they did sell it. Yeah, so let's, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe. For more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, over 259,000 subs. Yay! Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about pop culture, talk about streaming, uh, talk about television. And again, the only reason we're talking about CNN is is such a high-profile dumpster fire. <laughs> well, it's not just us. Who says so? This is the Hollywood Reporter. This isn't like, you know, the far-right commenters. No, this is the Hollywood Reporter saying CNN is a dumpster fire and they're basically like, well, see you, sucker. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to deal with this. Uh, David Zaslav, who is the guy uh, that's gonna head up uh, Warner Discovery, mm -hmm. is a numbers guy. All he cares about is, is this gonna make money or not? How are we gonna make money? And uh, there's been talk about CNN getting a reset because they got rid of uh, Zucker, Jeff Zucker. They got rid of him. Um, you know, and they've had a lot of controversy around a lot of people. Working at CNN, right. you know. Um, it's like these companies want to make money. Yeah, right. If what are the concept? So there's been talk about this reset, and now they've they've hired the new boss at uh, CNN, and now this guy came from uh, uh, Colbert. Mm -hmm. So I mean, he's not going to. I'm sorry, he's not going to be a right wing guy or anything. He's definitely going to be politically left. But if you read what he's saying and what others are saying about him. He is only interested in hard news. He's not interested in opinion. He's interested in truth, not opinion. Yeah, because I remember you know, when we were kids, you'd watch CNN because that's all it was, 24-7. Yes. Factual reporting. That's what people want. People want just facts. Like, they just, they don't want to know what you know, which way you lean and who you're, you know. They just want you to tell the truth. I don't even watch CNN anymore because no. it's, it's turned into, like, MSNBC. To be completely honest with you, I don't watch much, most any news networks anymore because they're all biased in some way or another. If I watch something, like, if I watch CNN, I used to watch headline news because it was just, like, a mm -hmm. recap of everything going on. And uh, they kept their, for the most part, they kept the opinion out of it. And like Newsy or one of these other like, you know, streaming, sort of, they're just, it's every half hour, here's the top news, here's mm -hmm. basically what's going on in the world. And uh, they keep a lot of the opinion out of it. Well, the general public are just fed up with the news outlets, uh, you know, and the way they behave. And it would be a refreshing change to see more go back to, you know, actually just reporting on the facts. You know, you you might have your opinions, but your opinion isn't what the, it's based on. It's based on, here's what happened. The audience can form their opinion on the facts that are given. Yeah. So this is uh, Chris Licht, I think is Licht. Licht, like Lichtenstein, uh, veteran producer, most recently of CBS's Light Show with Colbert, is Discovery CEO David Zaslav's pick to, to run CNN after the Warner Media merger is completed in the coming weeks. At CBS and MSNBC before it, uh oh, <laughs> Licht was regarded as a hands on manager and producer, someone adept at taking programs in need of rethinking and helping them find their vision, according to multiple sources. Now, Okay, that's that's fine. They they talk about you know oh yeah he's great he's great. And it says hands on history with programming and talent will likely be welcome at CNN, where former CNN chief Jeff Zucker was known to take an active role with anchors, suggesting uh, questions or guests and giving feedback on segments. Um, Zucker resigned from CNN after citing a romantic relationship with Chief Marketing Officer Allison Gullist that wasn't properly. Disclosed. I think there's a lot more going on. Probably. Usually, there, there given, usually is. Given some of the people. I mean, to, to get rid of somebody over... To, yeah, there's there's some stuff going on. Anyway, this is what's interesting. 
you you talk about his style and they talk about this rebrand. I uh, said he's very hard nosed. Forgive me for the sports analogy, but he is like a tough middle linebacker. He's not going to be sitting up in an executive office trying to figure out what to do. He does a lot of listening um, and he wants candid thoughts and feedback. Our viewers demand the trust from us, and I want to learn the truth from you. He added, inside CNN, the hiring of Licht is already generating text chains about what it means for the future of the news outlet, both on air and in streaming. Yeah, they're probably like, oh, oh shit, we're going to lose our jobs. Oh, shit. Because mm-hmm. um, here, here's the thing. Uh, I know you have a lot of questions, this is what he said to, to CNN. Perhaps the biggest one is, how will CNN change? The honest answer is, I don't know yet. I'm going to watch and see if you guys are trouble, and I'm going to fire your ass if you are. Uh, Zaslav has given me one simple directive. To ensure that CNN remains the global leader in news, news. and he put it in all caps, news, as part of Warner Brothers' discovery. During the Trump presidency... It all comes back to Trump. Yep. During the Trump presidency, Zucker pushed CNN's primetime lineup to be more opinionated and analysis-driven, leaning on hosts like Chris Cuomo. We know where that went. Yep. Cuomo, of course, was fired by CNN late last year. Uh, We didn't go into a whole lot of detail as to why he was fired, did we, Hollywood Reporter? I think the biggest change you're going to see at CNN, this is very important, the biggest change you're going to see at CNN, especially in primetime, is you're going to see a lot more hard news and a lot less opinion. He just doesn't have space in his head for that. Mm -hmm. And that's what they need to do. I mean, the truth of the matter is, the reason the news networks and some of the the biggest drop-offs in viewership have been related to news um, is because people, and I would say this is across the board, even for like periodicals and things too, is people are just getting tired of uh, opinions. You take like a kernel of truth and then you put a bunch of opinions around it and that's what you're given as the news. And then we saw those lawsuits come out yeah. uh, because that things were misconstrued. We've seen things uh, you know, deliberately um, edited in such a way to show a side that necessarily wasn't the truth. And people aren't trusting news sources anymore. CNN has become one of the least trustworthy news sources out there. They've basically become another MSNBC. Mm-hmm. It is almost all opinion. And it has happened. I mean, it's, it's you know, the last four or five years, everything is broken. Like CNN used to be hard news. And then, you know, obviously some of their anchors had bias a particular way. I think news. that's the way for a lot of these news uh, Yeah. I mean, I mean same across with the Fox, board. Right? I would say across the board. I'm not it's, just singling out one side or the other. Yeah. It's like you don't get objective reporting. If they actually could be like, here are the facts. We keep our opinions to ourselves. We present you, the viewer, uh, with facts and you digest the information and you form your own opinions you know, like they used to do, mm-hmm. then they would be fine because people are hungry for that. But the problem with the media as of late and across the board, not just these news networks, but the media as of late is they're using these platforms to try to, you know, sway opinion to what they want it to be. Like they're trying to control the narrative. They even create the narrative sometimes. And that's a problem because, you know, that's not what your job is. And it's a big problem. And people, people aren't, trusting them for these reasons and how much money are they going to save in lawsuits they just stick to the damn facts yeah i know right i mean yeah yeah because uh, you know there are some some people out there that are suing the hell out of the media now and some of them have legitimately good reason to do right, so. right and yeah it's just like i mean uh, it's it's so disgusting to see what has happened to, to cnn and so many other outlets too and even these blogs you know we look at these pop culture blogs that have you know, basically popped up uh, right before the Trump presidency. And then they existed off of Trump outrage. And now for we're years. for years. Now we're seeing them die like one well, by one by one. Then they keep trying to bring everything back to Trump over and over again. It's like, you know, he's out of office, right? You know that, right? But then, the, then the next thing is like, oh, the vaccine mandates and the mask mandates. Well, you know that like even New York is rolling that shit back now, right? Like you're not going to have anything to talk about. I know. Yeah. Like nobody cares. Nobody cares about your hot take about the, the racism and the misogyny and the whatever Marvel movie. Nobody gives a shit. It's nobody gives a shit about you either, BuzzFeed. We see you over there with your – because I got stock and I can see what the hell's happening and it's depressing. Well, uh, this you know, if, if true – I mean, I'm not going to hold my breath. If true that they're going back to this, I mean, as, as it sounds like it is, that would be a fantastic move. And once again, pointing out that we're moving back to center. It's swinging back to the middle, um, which where is, where is where it needs to go. I, I would love to believe that's going to happen. I hope that this does happen. Um, but I'm not going to, like, 
place bets on it because you know yeah I mean the guy uh, people were already pointing out like the guy worked on Colbert you know yeah, but that, doesn't, like, that, doesn't, that mean... doesn't necessarily but as long as he knows like look th this works for Colbert that show. yeah this, and works, this for, works for actual hard-hitting news right and we just got to just put the information out there and you like because I remember you know even like when we were kids and we we're watching the Gulf War and stuff and and how it was like there was no opinion. It was just like, oh, we're in Baghdad. It's getting bombed. And here's what's happening. Here's what's, what's happening. Yeah, and you now, form your own opinion. And now you turn on CNN. It's like, oh, my God, the missiles are racist. The missiles are misogynistic because they look like penises. That's not what they're saying on there. But, yeah. They're Most saying of them that, are white. They're big Twitter. white dicks. I think you're getting Twitter confused with them. But Big white dicks are bombing the world. What are we going to do? It's not that far. That's Twitter. You're That's not, it's, Twitter. It hasn't gone that far yet. Well, no, CNN. But it's heading that way. Yeah, CNN so. is turning into the broadcast version of Twitter. You know, uh, like MSNBC. Like MSNBC, everybody expected to be bad shit because that was kind of what you know. At the gate, they were like, "Yeah, we're we're mostly opinions." Well, it should be called PNN, Pseudo News Network. Pseudo News Network. So we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, but again, you know, like you're saying, the pendulum swing. We've been talking about that for the last, God, at least six or eight months now. And slowly but surely, things are starting to swing back to center. And, uh, you know, it's going to be really interesting, though, is if in five to ten years, everybody is like, yeah, hey, yeah, we were we were always kind of against all the craziness that was going on. We don't understand what happened. Yeah, I was never part of cancel culture. I don't know what, what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. We wrap it up, please. We're wrapping it up. All right. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.